How's everyone doing? My name is Joe and welcome to Ohio Woodburner. Guys, today I want to talk to you about branding. I had done a video in the past about my logo and how we put it on the trucks, but today I want to go a little bit more in depth and show you the things that I do which uh, uh, help me get a higher price per cord when I deliver. I will stand by the quality of my product, all right? But I'm saying that if you professionalize, if you brand with a logo, and if you can create some literature about your business, it really puts you in a very favorable position against all of your competitors. Stick around though until the end of the video. I have a special offer that I have never done before with this channel. I'm getting a lot of questions from viewers through the comments and through emails about little things that I do, uh, advice that I could give them. And I keep getting a lot of questions about branding, about my literature, about my website. And I promise you, the website is coming. But today I wanna to talk to you about branding. So let's start walking over to the truck. I wanna show you guys um, my logo and branding, and we can start from there. When I first started selling firewood, I learned real quick how easy it is to sell firewood. But circumstances happen to me, and it's, to me, an interesting story, and I'll put a link to it down below if you want to hear my backstory, how I got into selling firewood. But what I had learned was it's easy to sell firewood, and if I were to make a living out of selling firewood, I wouldn't be able to do it with the going price. If I were to make a living, there's no way I could compete because I'm not big enough to make all of that volume and to sell all of that wood. What I had to do was focus on things that I could do to increase my price per cord, to increase how much money I can make uh, on deliveries with add-on sales, with selling a quality product. And the way I was able to do that was by creating a brand, Ohio Woodburner. It's not just the logo on my truck, but it goes into all of the, the literature that surrounds my company, my labels, my business cards, my t-shirts, and flyers that I have that I give to customers. It plants a seed into their brain that I am serious and that I'm not just some fly-by-night company that's gonna run out of wood in January. If you've been with my channel for a while, you have seen how I wrap firewood and that I've come up with a label that, um, that we use on our bundles. Our labels were professionally made. I went ahead and bought the UPC codes. So I own these and I put these on all my bundles. It was a way to make me more marketable to convenience stores. When I first started with um, bundles, I didn't have a label. I learned real quick that I could get a lot more money for each bundle, uh, especially if I wanted to get into the grocery store, uh, convenience store market, I needed to upgrade. So the first thing I made, I did it myself. I made on uh, my computer, <laughs> my own label. It had my logo at the time and it just had my, um, it just had the description of, of the product. And, you know, I would print two to a sheet uh, that saved me paper. And then this was my label. But the, the finished product still, it didn't look that real professional, you know, because it's just something that I had printed on, on paper. It was then that I started looking around and I found this lady in my area and she does a really good job. She uh, is real creative and she was the one that invented my uh, logo and I hired her to make me these labels. So she incorporated everything that we make for our brand into our labels. And it's got our logo, it has our product description, it has our website on it and our uh, address. So there are requirements in Ohio you know, through the Department of Agriculture on firewood sales for retail. And this keeps the retailer out of hot water, but it also uh, sends a message too to a person that buys firewood uh, that there might be a supplier out there that uh, they could give a call. I really think one of the most important things that I have ever done in making this firewood company was professionalizing my truck, putting my logo on the door, putting my website on the truck and my contact information. I put myself in the place of the customer and you got to think, you know, our customers are spending a lot of money for firewood. They're not buying a candy bar or a, or a can of pop. They're spending a lot of money on firewood. So you want to make that um, delivery special. And man, when you can show up in a truck that's got your logo on the side, uh, it's clean, it's presentable. You know, my truck's a 2011. It's not, you know, something brand new, but I keep it looking nice. I keep it washed. 
so that I always have a good appearance when I show up. The other thing too is my logoed shirts. I never make a delivery out of uniform. It's just all part of that brand that I'm trying to create to um, impress upon customers that we are a legitimate company and that we're taking their satisfaction serious. The logo that we came up with was pretty cool. I am really, really proud of this. So we have just a traditional flame, but within the flame is the southern border of Ohio, and it has a watermark for Ohio's North Shore. Uh, the cross logs has some hidden details in it. It's got four check marks on the end of the log, and that's for the four members of our family. And the the alliteration in our slogan, Family Friends Firewood. The logo also uses the colors to work together. It's got these warm, uh, earthy colors with the dark greens and the maroons and you know, with the, uh, the orange flame and you know, the brown cross logs. Together, it looks great. But, only, but not only does it look great, it looks great on the door of a truck. And that was what I had learned with my old logo, that round uh, OWB log. It didn't look good on a truck. These were the kind of things that when you work with a professional um, graphic design artist like Melissa, she's able to see this and, uh, and get you something that's gonna look good. Uh, the first thing Melissa did for me was my logo. And then that led into all of the documents. But I wanted to show you something. I carry a folder with me and I keep the same folder in all of my vehicles, both my trucks and I keep it in my personal car that I drive around town because you never know when a sales opportunity is going to come up. I keep a folder with me. Come on over here and I'll show you. I call this my sales kit. So whenever I am uh, out on the town, if I'm at a convenience store buying a Dr. Pepper, if the manager's there, I'll ask. I said, are you guys consider selling firewood? But I keep all of my company information in here and all my documents. The lady that did my uh, logo, also, we come up with this idea of these cut sheets. When I used to have a real job, uh, vendors would come to me and try to sell me their product, cameras, recording systems. And I would say, you know, that's a really cool camera. And the guy would say, well, let me give you a cut sheet, he would say. And I go, yeah, give me one of those cut sheets. So it was a powerful sales tool. So I thought, I'm gonna make cut sheets for my firewood business. The lady I hired, her name is Melissa Nagy, and her company is Melissa Nagy Designs, which is also her website. So we come up with these cut sheet ideas, and we have two different ones right now. This one is for restaurants. If I make a sales call on a restaurant, this one is at the top of my pile. When I meet the manager or the person in uh, decision making, they're gonna be getting a copy of this. This one I keep for bundles, and if you'll look, they are exactly the same except for this section. So it's modular, and this one describes our bundle program. This one describes our restaurant delivery program. I'll put a copy of, these, of both these forms in the description below so you can see them better. But it is really, these are my pictures that I've taken. It's got our logo, and I just came up with bullet point ideas. And uh, Melissa and I worked together, and this is what we came up with. Guys, when you put this into a customer's hand, you are golden. Your credibility has just shot up through the roof. Other things that I keep in here too, I keep my business cards, because we always have our business cards handy, right? And I went as far as to put my vendor's license and my insurance document in here. I have never been asked for it, but I just want them to make sure, because some companies won't deal with you unless you have an EIN and I have all of these documents with it. I have this folder in all my vehicles. You never know when a sales opportunity is going to come up and you wanna be ready. This already paid off on a convenience store visit. I was in just to pay for my gas and we started talking and I asked the guy if they sell firewood and he didn't and it was just awesome because I had everything that I needed with me. I just went out to my car, I uh, gave the flyer to the gentleman and that led to a meeting and it led to um, another customer for me in my, in my bundles. The other thing I keep in my sales kit is my bundle tags. Uh, talk about you know, a sales call when you're talking with the customer. I may not have a bundle with me, but I'll have the bundle tag. They'll, they'll know right away if the UPC code is compatible with their system, which it usually is. But I'm able to leave these with the customer too and uh, they can have a discussion with whoever else that needs to give them authorization to bring me on board. 
talk about the evolution of my company, guys. I didn't just start out like this. I started out with a website, but um, I didn't have all of these uh, sales items. This started growing over time. I started off with a Microsoft document, black and white, and it got me only so far. I um, have a friend who's a school teacher, and he teaches a course on graphic design. And part of, uh, I, he had one of his students make me my first color sales flyer, you know? And if you read this long enough, you'll start seeing some misspelled words in it. <laughs> but, you know, it worked for a little bit. It wasn't until I hired uh, Melissa Nagy, who come up with a professional cut sheet. And I'm able to spin this into different things. You know, I, this can be removed and it, the bundles inserted. Um, we can come up with a cut sheet for any market that we get into. My business has evolved and this is where I want to share it with you guys. If I look back upon it, if I'm being honest, what kept me away from professionalizing was I didn't realize just how important it is, number one. And I think too, I was scared away because I thought it was just going to be too expensive and it was going to be something that just real, you know, big companies uh, get into. Uh, and that's not true. Guys, it was cheap to make these things. And I have already paid for them 10 times over for all of the sales that a simple sheet of paper could bring me. I found a printer up the road that makes these and I pay like 15 cents a copy to have them printed. And I want to share this opportunity with you. Melissa and I got together and we've come up with this idea. She has created a landing page on her website and it is not viewable to anyone else. You have to use the link down below. This, an, this is an offer exclusive to the viewers of Ohio Woodburner. She is offering up everything that she has done for me, creating a logo, cut sheets, bundle tags, you name it. She has put them on to a landing page just for our viewers. Uh, where you can work with her and create your own. Guys, I want to make something real clear. This is exclusive for the viewers of this channel. You can also still get onto her website and check out her prices, and you can see that she's giving everyone a break on this service. Also, in the spirit of full disclosure, she's going to give me a small percentage of it, but my commitment to you is everything that we generate with this program is going to go to my daughter and her college education. That's my commitment. People that get into selling firewood, you know, we get in for different reasons. And I'm gonna be honest, it's easy to sell firewood, but if you're looking to increase your company's earning potential, if you're looking to increase your brand, if you're looking to professionalize, this is a great opportunity uh, for you to get into. You know, and even if you don't decide to use Melissa, I hope that this could be an opportunity which generates your own ideas. Maybe you have your own ability to create documents like this. Uh, but if you don't, like I didn't, <laughs> you saw what I made. Uh, but when I uh, reached out to her, when her first ideas started coming back to me, guys, it was, it was life changing. I felt right away that I wasn't just some guy selling firewood, that I was a brand, that I was something that I could bring value to my area, uh, to my family, to my customers. That's how important it was. So I'm giving you this same opportunity please go check out her landing page and she is waiting for you guys to uh, ask questions or to reach out to her and see if you two can start working together to create something special for your own company. Her website is fully automated. You can click on things and you can uh, contact her through it. But still, when you talk to her, let her know that Joe from Ohio Woodburner sent you. Uh, she'd be real excited to talk with you. Guys, so there you go. I hope that you found all of this educational. I hope that you found it interesting. And I hope that you take advantage of this. At least reach out to Melissa and see what kind of opportunities exist on professionalizing your company. I was shocked on how easy it was, uh, how rewarding it was, and how inexpensive it was. It's not that much money to do these things. And all of this is an investment into your business and it makes your business worth more. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun doing it and I'm excited to give you guys this opportunity. It's something that I have learned and I wanna share it with you guys. If you get a chance, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. Also, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Everyone have a great day.